labor rates at your enterprise. To set up labor rates at the enterprise, off of your home ribbon, you're going to go to Enterprise Setup. On your left panel, you're going to go down to Labor Rates. You can set as many or as few labor rates as you wish. You do have the capability of locking them. Let's show you how to add a labor rate. So to add a labor rate, I come up to the top ribbon. I click on Add. You want to give it a code, a name, and your rate per hour. You also have the capability of locking a labor rate so it can't be changed at the locations. So if I wish to add another labor rate to this list, give it a code. Let's just say I want to do a government rate. Give it a name. And whatever the rate is. Now if I want to keep this locked, I certainly can just by clicking the box. Hit OK. So now I've added a fourth rate here. Now to rearrange the order of these, I would simply click, click again, hold my mouse button down, and drag them. So you can rearrange the order of these rates. Let's go to a location and see how this looks. So here we are at location three. We go to setup. At the labor rates. Here are our four labor rates that are coming from the enterprise. Now, a nice feature that you have here at the location is what if I have a particular labor rate that is more dominant than the others? So at this particular location, maybe I do more fleet work than I do retail work. So I can click, click again, hold my mouse, and I can change it. So I can rearrange the orders at the individual locations if I need to. Once I do this, I simply hit save, and now the fleet rate is my dominant rate, or default. So default just means that's going to be the first one in line. And that's how to set up labor rates. Once you have them set up, then as you add customers to your database, again, it will use whichever is first as the default. So if I go to contacts, and let's say I'm going to add a new contact to the system. I go to add. Let's say we got a guy named you know, Bill Jones coming in. If I go to details and look at the contact in the discount, see here's my default labor rate. None means it always uses whatever's first in line. That's your default. So what's going to be first in line? My fleet rate, since I moved my fleet above the retail. So again, if that's going to be the dominant rate used at this particular location, we put it up first. So that's how to set up a labor rate, how to set your defaults and how it works in a contact. And again, this can be also used in the vehicle card too.